Hi everybody, welcome to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and we're gonna do a core yoga. This four series of videos, you can pick a mix. If you feel like a, oh, one video is enough, you feel comfortable, but if you really want to work hard, I recommend you to mix or do the four videos in a row. So let's start. So let's go on to all fours. We're going to start on all fours. So shoulders above your hands, hips above your knees. Spread your fingers. Let's go into cat and cow just to release your spine. So we go inhale, cat stretch. And exhale, arch in your back, cow stretch. And again, inhale, cat. And exhale, cow stretch. Let's go for two, inhale cat, and exhale cow, let's go last one, inhale cat, and exhale cow, back onto neutral, sitting back onto child pose, keep moving your bum down onto your heels, stretching your back, let's hold it here, just four breath, inhale, and exhale, Let's go for the three, and exhale, let's go two, and just one more. We come back onto all fours, we bring our elbows down, slide your feet backwards, we come onto all fours, uh, sorry, plank position, ready? So from plank, shoulders above your elbows, you can keep your palms flat on the ground and you can interlace your fingers, whatever is more comfortable for you. And we're going to come. You can do half plank, keeping your knees on the ground, or we'll go full plank. So let's go. Inhale and exhale, come up. We hold here for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two, and just one more. Now release your knees on the ground, lie down on your tummy, just gonna, again, you keep your forehead on the ground, and we're gonna inhale, exhale, right arm, left leg, come up, and release down, and we keep going. Exhale as you lift, this time left arm, right leg, inhale down. Exhale up and we keep changing the side. Up and up and up and up. Try to reach with your fingers and your toes down. Up and up and down. Just one more in each side. Up, and down, up, and great. Come back into your elbows. We go back again to plank. So we go inhale and exhale plank. We hold for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And get your dummy, and just one more. Release your knees, lie down again to the ground. We come back again to the swimming or oh, Superman, different names. So again, forehead on the ground. Inhale, exhale, right arm, left leg come up. Inhale down, exhale, left arm, right leg come up. And we swap. Come up, four, down. Exhale up, down. Let's go three, down. Up, and down. Let's go two, down. Other side, down. One more, down. Other side, down. Great. Let's go just. Back onto all fours. Bueno, let's go. So, sorry. <laughs> Back onto plank. 
But this time we're gonna bring your knees closer. So we're gonna come on to dolphin. So curl the toes under and then we just go dolphin, lifting your knees. As much as you can bring your heels down, try to don't force your hips. We hold a hip for four. So it's like a downward dog, but with the elbows on the ground. Let's go three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And get your tummy. Two. And just one more. Now drop your knees onto the ground. Raise your torso all the way into the kneeling position. From the kneeling position, bring your hands on your back. Push your pelvis forward, elbows in, open your chest, arch in your back. You can keep your hands on the back to don't put on the pressure of your lower back, but you also bring your hands on your heels. You can curl the toes under, both hands if it feels comfortable, or also you can just point your toes away and we go to the full camel. But if this is not feeling good in your lower back, just keep your hands behind your hips. You can keep your toes curled under. Open your elbows, everybody. Open your chest. Hold me for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Well done, we release. We're just gonna give us a little break, break into child pose, just to release the lower back. Extend your arms forward. We hold here for four. And three. Feeling the curving of the spine now. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more. Come back again onto all fours and let's go again onto the puppy and elbows on the ground, onto dolphin, sorry. So elbows on the ground, shoulders above your elbows, palms on the ground, curl the toes under. We go dolphin. You can bring your feet closer if you feel more comfortable. And let's go for four. Inhale. And let's go for three. Two and just one more. Back your knees onto the ground. Raise your torso. We take any variation you feel more comfortable from camel. And we just hold your elbows in, open your chest. We hold for four. Inhale and exhale. Feel the stretch in your abs. Let's go for three. Two. Just one more. Now we release all the way back onto child pose, extending your arms forward, and we just hold it here for four. And three. Two. And just one more. Now we raise our torso and now we're gonna go into the side plank. So we're gonna just come onto the side. You can start with your right arm. So bring your right elbow on the ground, shoulder above your elbow, palm on the floor. Make sure that you don't lift the palm because in all the way collapse on your elbow. So palm on the ground, you can do half plank, which is the legs bend just in front of your hips. You come up. You can extend the top leg if you feel comfortable, or you can go with the two legs extend. Top leg can be at the top of the other one or at the front, whatever is more comfortable for you. Ready? Let's go. Inhale and exhale. Come up. You can keep your arm beside your body or just extend it above your shoulder, palm facing front. Engage your tummy. We hold for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Try to lift this waist upward like a banana shape. Let's go two. Press your arm down. And just one more. Drop your hand. Drop your hips. 
bend your knees. And this time we're just going to go sideways and other side for a couple of times. Okay, just to really activate our waist. When we bring in the elbow to the ground, try to not let the weight completely collapse on the elbow. So then you don't have too much, you don't need to do too much effort to lift. So ready? So arms, inhale, exhale, we move away, come back, other side. Activating you, obliques, your waist muscles, and keep going. And come back. Oh, let's go too. I feel good. And just one more. Keep your tummy in all the time. Oh, super. Now swing the legs to the front. And we're going to drop that left elbow on the ground. One more time. Keep your palm on the floor. You can keep half version or full version. Whatever of the two is good. And this muscle is pushing us up. Engage your tummy. Inhale and exhale. Come up. Your arm can be beside your body or lift it up. And we hold for four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Don't forget your breath. Two. And just one more. Release your hand, release your hips, bend your legs. And we'll repeat the one stretching, which is an active stretch. Inhale, exhale, we move away. And come back. Oh, it feels nice. And let's go for three. Side. And come back. Good. Let's go two and come back and the last one side and come back. Good. We're gonna repeat one more time. So knees on the side, elbow on the floor, and let's go plank. Come up. We hold for four, three, inhale deep. Exhale, engage your tummy. Two, try to don't collapse your head. And just one more. Drop your hand, drop your hips, bend your legs so you have to bend. Just raise your torso. And let's go. Away. And other side. And away. Keep your palm facing down when you're stretching to the side. And down. Let's go for two. And again. And just one more. Ah, feels good. Great, everybody. Now swing the legs, other side. Elbow to the ground. One more time. Ready, steady, and come up. We hold for four. And three. Two. Just one more. Resist, resist, and release. Well done. Bend your legs. Again, the things are harder are the ones we most needed. So ready? So we reach, stretch, and come back. Good. Let's go for three. Good. Let's go two. And just one more. I feel nice stretch. Well done. Bring your legs to the front. Come onto your mat, on your mat. Bend your legs, catch the legs from under. Go all the way down. Bring your knees close to your tummy. Squeeze your legs to your tummy and to recline in child pose. We hold for four breaths just to release your lower back. Inhale. And exhale. Go three, two, and just one more. We extend the legs up towards the ceiling, Dandasana, reclining Dandasana. Flex your feet, but you can flex and point as you prefer. 
and then we're just gonna hold here, engage in your tummy, make sure that your back is not arching. We hold for four, inhale, have the sensation to pull in your pubic bone towards your belly button. You will feel the sensation to engage the lower toe. Let's go for two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, and just one more. Inhale, exhale. Now bend your legs, pull the knees close to you, bring your arms backwards, and we're just gonna hold here. Squeeze the inner thigh and pull the legs in to really feel your tummy muscles. And we just hold here for four breaths. Pull in as much as you can and squeeze the inner thigh. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Now keep your arms at the back if it feels comfortable, you know, bring them back again beside your body. Drop your feet on the ground, keep the same with hips, knees and feet. Press your feet against the ground, lift the pelvis, stretch your thighs. You can keep your arms backwards or beside your body. And we're going to hold here just four breaths. Inhale deep, press your feet against the ground to help you to elevate more your hips. Let's go for the three. And two. Just one more. We drop our hips back again onto the ground. We bring the arms beside the body, pulse facing down, cross the right leg over the left, drop the legs toes to the leg is under, so this time left leg. And we just keep using the left hand just to press the legs gently but without lifting the shoulder blades. We keep both shoulder blades on the ground. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Good, nice stretch. Back to the starting pose. We swap the legs. So left leg over the right, drop toes to the right. So we always drop the knee so on the toe as the leg is on there, sorry. Help us with the right hand. And we hold a nice stretch here. You can move your face opposite direction of your legs just to release your neck as well. We hold for four months. Keep both shoulder blades on the ground. Let's go for three. Inhale. Exhale. And let's go to and just one more. Back again. Great. Super. Stretch your legs on the ground, bring your arms backwards. We flex our feet. We try to keep our pelvis in neutral that we don't overarch our back. Pushing our heels away, we hold for four breaths. Inhale, you can keep your palms together, you prefer, or just drop your hands, palms facing up, and just hold your thumbs. We hold for three breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go two, and just one more. Great. Bend your legs, leave your feet off the ground, hands under the knees just to give us the last stretch in our lower back. And we just hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Now release your head off the ground, rocking backward and forward, coming to the sitting pose. Well done everybody. So again, you can repeat this video more times, two more times or three more times if you want to have more intense 
class or also you can mix and match with the other ones. Thank you for coming and we'll see you in the next video. Remember that you can follow us in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. See you.